Here you have a velocity time graph for a ball. The moment it is hit vertically upwards from the ground. So a ball is going up, right? So you can kind of draw a little ball here. Going upwards from the ground. Oh, from the ground. Maybe this is the ground. Sure. What is the displacement of the ball from the ground after a time of 3 seconds? So that the whole, the whole graph here. So you got to think of this. How do you understand this graph? First thing, you can see that the velocity is decreasing. From 20, it decreases to 0. That means this uh, ball will go up and eventually reach a maximum height and stop. So something like this, I suppose. If you draw the path of the ball, it starts at the bottom, goes to the top, reaches there. And then what happens? Then in the second part, you see it is getting faster and faster. You know, follow the graph. But in the negative direction. So if you define the first part as positive, moving upwards, then the next part will be the ball going down. So this part. And it stops at some point. Okay? So the question is, what is the displacement from the ground after 3 seconds? So after 3 seconds, you will need to find what is this height. Mm. Let's do some problem solving here. Now when you see velocity time graph, you need to know straight away or remember that the area between the graph and the time axis is the distance traveled by the ball or more accurately, displacement. So for this first part, when the ball is moving up, how far is this? You can find this as the area, which will be half 2 seconds, half base times height, so half 220. That will be 20 meters. Okay. So that means in the first part, the ball will go up by 20 meters. So up here is 20 meters. Let's say down here is 0 meters lah. Okay, so a ball goes up 20 meters. Now, it starts to go down. Mm. So you need to think of another area over here. This one will be the ball's displacement down from the top. Okay, how far I travel in this time. So the area will be a half base, which is 1 second, times height, which is 10. So this is 5 meters. So it means the ball will go up 20 meters and come down by 5 meters. So this will be at 15 meters. Okay, go down by 5 ma, negative 5. That's how we can tell. Okay, so at the end of the day, you want to choose 15 because that is the distance from the ground. Okay, we, we say ground is 0 meters, so best choice will be A. 15 meters. Okay, the tricky part will be trying to understand the graph. What is happening? Ball go up, ball go down. Okay, so remember, ball goes up, stops, ball comes down. How high are you from the ground? Okay, that is all for this question, and I will see you in the next one.